Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bright Torian and welcome back to Hearts Round 4 as we are playing as the Republic of Turkey. Uh, or at least briefly, we'll be playing as the Republic of Turkey. And hopefully we should be coming the Ottomans soon. Maybe not in this episode, given that we have we have to fight the Civil War. We still have to get several focuses. Uh, I think we have to get a total of was it three civil or excuse me three focuses here before we we start the Civil War. Uh, so I don't know if it'll be this episode. We'll, we'll have to see, guys, uh, because we could also delay it until we finish up here with the Kurds. It's not like there's isn't like there isn't any other focuses we could work on. Uh, we have all the focuses over here that we could be working on. So yeah, we might delay it a little bit, try and get the Kurds wrapped up. I don't know. We'll see how things go with uh, with the Kurds and, and what kind of progress we have uh, by the time we get to those focuses. Uh, but before we let this play, I want to show you guys I did name several of the units based on your suggestions. So a lot of people suggested Janissaries as I expected. So we have the main infantry unit called that. I also changed up their symbol to cross uh, swords here. Now there's nothing else that I think really resembles the symbol uh, of the the Janissaries, their their flag, which was like a, a, a sword that was like splitting at the end, and uh, nothing really resembled that. So I feel like the cross uh, the cross swords would probably be the best one for them. Then we have Turkish delights for our cav unit, which is really only going to be used for for garrison units, but we will be keeping them around. And someone also suggested naming a tank division Sipahi, based on the cavalry unit. So I don't know if we'll have motorized units. I'm about to get rid of this one here. And that basically means the only thing, the only ones that still need a unit name are these mountain divisions. We could even keep the one that they currently have. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, but yeah, we, we could change that one. We're about to get rid of these guys now. So let's go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. So we want to go ahead and get all five of them selected and just go ahead and change them over to the Janissaries. We don't really need uh, a, garrison unit, a garrison unit as of right now. Maybe we'll need one in the future. Uh, but yeah, I don't see us needing them uh, as far as our concerns go. Maybe to defend ports or something. It depends on what conflict we're in. But you know what? If we need some reserve, smaller reserve divisions, then we'll build them at that time. Uh, because we need all the, the, the good units that we can get. Though, of course, equipment is a major issue, and that's only going to make things worse here. So you'll notice this will get uh, much worse than, than it was before, uh, particularly with the, the, the guns and the, the infantry equipment. Uh, so we've got that done. The other thing that I wanted to do is to change up our occupation policy because when we got that focus, which I think we just got uh, right before the, the focus that we're currently working on, uh, we now have a new focus that is specific to Turkey here, reconcili reconciliation. And so this will allow us to increase the compliance much, much faster. And it's significantly faster. It also has a few other modifiers that might be different here. Yeah, like you're not going to get any resistance reduction. So resistance will likely be worse here. And, you know, it's not just about compliance. It's also about resistance. Uh, if resistance is too high, I think 30% then you won't be able to do it. So this might result in the resistance getting too high. But you know what? Compliance isn't high enough either. So let's change that up and see what we can do about it. Uh, we might let it play for a day and, and see if we want to uh, do any of those decisions. I know stability is really low, but I don't think we're going to get it high enough to, to deal with the Kurds anytime soon. Uh, probably not until after the Civil War is over. So yeah, let's go and let this play just a day or so. And then we'll take a look and see if we want to... Uh, to do any, not any of that. Uh, we do still have him over here, right? Yep, he's still over there working. Uh, we can move him around if need be. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look and see if we want to, to do these decisions now. Uh, we're looking at 54% here, 30% there, and the re all the rest are 54%. We said we'd concentrate on this one first, we're at 46%. And you know what, resistance is actually not that high in most of these areas. It's, it's really just this one where we're having the most problems. So yeah, we only have to get uh, compliance up to 70%. So let's let's work on this and see if it see if we can make it happen. Most likely, we're gonna fail on this, but we'll see. All right, we we uh, succeeded on the first one, but again, we have to keep succeeding. We want to keep stability where it's at, uh, and now it's down to 50%. But again, I do want to concentrate on the same area here. And uh, one benefit of this is we're getting the political power for uh, allowing us to to core these locations. Uh, so yeah, we did lose that 5% stability, so that's unfortunate. But th it does go up to 54% here when we lose. Uh, of course, it, it also results in the resistance and the compliance being affected too. But we're still higher than when we started today. 
So let's try it again. And let me see if there's anything we need to do here. Oh yes, uh, we actually have the political power to do something here, but it looks like it's just a ship designer. So we'll leave that as is. We also have political power now to enact some of these ones here. And I almost want to do them. I know that we could core this soon, uh, but you know, I really feel like we ought to thwart them. I don't know if we have enough time. Add, oh, it adds 30 days. I see what it does. Okay, that's interesting. So it's just adding the 30 days. But what if we did it first? So, I mean, if we were to do this right now, does that, like, um, stop it? No, now they're doing it over here. Okay, that's interesting. So it wasn't where I thought they were doing it. All right, so we did increase our influence in one of the states, so that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and do this again, get more political power. And again, you know, hope that we succeed, although I'm not able to do it right now. Hold up. Let's let this play a minute and see why we can't do it. Oh, okay, so it says, because we recently targeted the Kurds, we can't do it again. That's interesting. All right, so I guess we'll have to wait a little bit. And, oh, okay, we already had one happening. Okay, I didn't realize that I had already done it. Uh, but we were successful here. All right, excellent. Uh, so let's just take a look and see where we're at now. We're at 62%, no resistance. Uh, so if we do it one more time and we're successful, uh, that we might be able to, to annex them as, as soon as we get the political power, or excuse me, core them, is what I meant. Uh, obviously, they're already our territory. Ah, damn it, of course. All right, so we'll do it again. Again, stability is like, I don't even know if there's anything we could do about that, guys. Have buildings getting sabotaged from the very high resistance now, which is sitting at 21%. That's a shame. It doesn't look like, like, like uh, compliance is being reduced, though, which I thought that reduced compliance. Yeah, that hasn't been the case. Yeah, we have like no more stability to, to worry about at this point. And India and Pakistan did have their white peace. And now we're at 62%. Okay, I thought we would have been at 70 now. Uh, apparently not. All right, so let's do it again. Uh, also, we might want to go ahead and get this military factory assigned to those new fighters that we just got. And I think we now have yeah, civilian factories open after we built that military factory. Let's go in and get a synthetic refinery. We'll build it in Istanbul. Although, you know what? I think we lose that territory uh, in the Civil War, so maybe we might want to, to do it somewhere else, even if it does re result in us getting a, a penalty. I guess we'll do it right there. And then maybe get some more military factories over here, because we built quite a few over there, and I'm not sure if what all is going to them. Yeah, all this is going to them, all territory that we've been building in. So that's kind of a problem. We can build here okay. Yeah, it looks like we can build all around this area. So I think we should focus on areas that we're actually going to get to keep or else we're going to give all of our military factories away to the rebels. Yeah, that would be uh, far more smarter. So yeah, we'll build here instead and, and maybe build another one. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried that we're going to lose this territory. Alright, so we'll get that done and I guess we're going to have to enact another. Uh, do this one here again. Although I think we just did it. And we're defeated again. Good God. So stability is now at 0%. We got nothing to lose at this point. So let's hit it again. And we're going to keep the, the political power because if we can just get this once, then I think... Um, oh, very, very close. <laughs> I was going to say, then I think we'll be able to uh, uh, core them. Yeah, we have to succeed one more time without failing. And we're just not getting, uh, getting any luck here. But again, stability is like irrelevant now because it's at 0%, so what's it matter? Are we there yet? We're at 72%. All right, excellent. So we should be able to core it now. Uh, let's take a look where that's at. Is it... Oh, it's okay. You do it through here, just like the decisions. All right, so 200 political power, which we got from doing this that many times. I suppose if we hadn't failed that many times, we might not have had enough political power to do it. All right, so we'll be able to core that. And that's one of the Kurdish territories that have been dealt with. So let's go and take a look, see what other options we have here. Uh, we can root out the Kamalist here in this state. See if there's anything else we might want to do. Can't empower fundamentalism in this state. I'm not entirely sure which one this is. Uh, but you know what? Let's go ahead and do this one. Uh, what exactly does it do? It might remove the schemer modifier, and the officer shall readjust their status as a response to the action of the government. Yeah, let's use the political power and, and, and do that. And then we'll wait until 
You know what? It might be done. Yeah, this might now be a core. Nope, still says occupied state. Oh, no, no, core state. Okay, excellent. Uh, so we have this as a core. Uh, that's going to get us more manpower and all that kind of good stuff. And we don't have to garrison anymore. So we'll get that manpower back that we're using for garrisons. And now we can work on one of these other two areas here. Uh, as far as which one has the highest compliance, it would be this state. So that's where we're going to start. Again, uh, stability is irrelevant. So we'll just keep on doing this until we get it done. And, you know, we're going to keep on getting the political power. And really, there's no other effects since, you know, stability is already at 0%. It's just really uh, allowing us to stack up on the political power. Of course, we continue to fail, which, again, I'm not entirely sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Because uh, it lets us go longer, but it also means we're not making any progress here. We actually have lower uh, compliance than we did before. Uh, we can do some decisions now that we got all that, that political power. Uh, so let's see what we might want to do here. I really want to focus on, on things that are going to help us in the Civil War. So we might want to go ahead and save up the 200 political power. Yeah, I think that's what we ought to do. Uh, we could also get something here. Let me see if there's anything in the political advisors that would help. Military staff would, would help us, of course, as well. Uh, but you know what? Let's see if there's anything here that would help us. Uh, you know, just kind of improve our own strength. So this one's all right. We'd get more of our civilian factories. Uh, we might want to get that one because I imagine we're going to have to build some forts up along the Soviet border when we fight with them. Because uh, that's going to be a tough fight, I think. Eh, I don't think we'll go with that one. Prime ministers are, are temporary. I'm actually surprised that... Oh, you get to pick which prime minister you're going to have. Okay, I see. So yeah, we could pick either one of these characters as prime minister. Or we could get another operative slot. Yeah, I don't think uh, any of these are going to, to help us that much, and I don't really want to spend the political power that, on that. I think we're going to save the 200 uh, just trying to help out in this, this Civil War. If we're delaying the Civil War, then, then it makes sense to, to be doing stuff that's going to, to make the Civil War uh, easier overall. Uh, so yeah, let's go and enact this one again. And even if we keep failing, we'll have the, the 200 political power very soon. Yeah, we just keep on failing, so it's actually getting lower and lower. Uh, maybe I'm not looking at the, the percentages here. Maybe it's really bad. Yeah, it's actually at 34%. Maybe we should move over to here. That's probably why we keep uh, failing there. Well, one more time, we'll have the 200 political power. And we were actually successful here. Excellent. So we're at 45% now. Uh, let's, and you know what? Another problem we have here is resistance is now ridiculously high. Yeah, it's really, really bad. That's one penalty, I suppose, of continuing to do it over and over. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and do the empower fundamentalists in this state. And so that should result in this sw uh, flipping over to a fundamentalist province, or at the very least, removing this one. I don't know if they'll actually become fundamentalists. Might have to do something else to do that, do another one of these decisions. Uh, so yeah, we're moving over to this one, 50% uh, this time. Yeah, very, very low percentages down here, guys. I have a feeling these two areas are going to be difficult. Although this one might too. Uh, what, I don't know what the percentage was there. But we actually succeeded. Excellent. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep on doing it as long as we have uh, a good success rate, a 50% success rate. There we go. Nice. Two in a row. So we're at 60% here now for the compliance. So we're almost there. And then we should be able to, to core them. Ah, we failed again. Damn it. All right. Well, as long as we, you know, flip-flop between the two, then we're just earning political power. Uh, you know, and compliance slowly goes up because you get more compliance when you succeed than what you lose when you fail. Uh, Bulgaria approaches the German Empire. That's not good. Yeah. Uh, Yugoslavia is also breaking up here. Yeah, I, I'm kind of unfortunate. I would prefer to conquer Bulgaria, but if they're the central powers, that might cause them issues. Now, I don't think the central powers have been created yet. But it does look like they are going that direction. Uh, Bulgaria is. See if we're successful in this attempt. Nope. Damn it. So close. We would have succeeded that time, then it would have been enough. Uh, we did get the field hospitals. Excellent. I wanted to add those to the units. Uh, so I don't think we're going to get any other support companies just yet, guys. I think there's a lot of other stuff we could be getting. Uh, like getting the uh, uh, you know passive bonuses here. That would be helpful. And I think that's what we're going to do, actually, since we will have a, a civil war. Yeah, let's go and do that. I'll start with the improved infantry equipment one. All right, so let's go and continue doing this. We're at 61% right now. And we were successful. Excellent. So does that mean we're at 70%? It does. 
Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and attempt to core them. Oh yes, this is on the map. Uh, so 200 for a little power, get that knocked down, and then I guess we'll start working on one of these two while we're still sitting at the 0% uh, the stability. Uh, so with the Janissaries, let's get them the field hospitals. Let's go ahead and save that. Uh, we'll, I think we might wait, continue getting stuff for the Janissaries, because that is our main divisions. We could do something here, uh, you know, also with the next batch of, of uh, 10 political power. We need to make adjustments here, actually. Maybe start getting some motorized in here and more tanks. Uh, the problem, of course, is our lack of, of equipment. We're lacking both support equipment and light tanks and motorized. Uh, so, yeah, we're actually we're missing everything, frankly. I'm actually surprised with how long our shortages have lasted. And so this should be cored now, right? Yeah, okay, so it's basically as soon as you take it. I didn't know if it was a time thing. So we've cored these two, these two parts of Kurdistan, and now there's only two left with very, very high resistance, unfortunately, which is continuing to grow. And I don't think we have very good chances of being successful here. No, 23% and 20%. I just don't think that that is good enough. Uh, so unfortunately, we're just gonna have to wait until compliance grows naturally, I suppose. We might face a rebellion there with how high the resistance is, though, because uh, that resistance is ridiculously high. So I think we're just going to have to wait and just wait a little bit and get some of these focuses done, I suppose. Uh, this is going to get us more military factories, help us get the equipment situation dealt with. And it looks like, again, one of the kingdoms lost. You know, I don't know that I've ever seen the Kingdom of Portugal win without help from, from the player. It seems to me that when Portugal, Portugal goes that route, you know, to become a kingdom, that it always ends up failing and then the fascists end up in power. I think it always happens. I, I don't know if I've seen... The, the kingdom ever win on their own which is unfortunate because yeah that means the the monarchists lost in spain portugal and probably in greece as well all right so none of them are going quite the way we had set them to so very unfortunate we could go in and get some of the political advisors uh, they're not going to help us right now so might as well just hold on to it uh well let me take it back these guys would probably help us right now if we were if we got the right the right one uh, but none of the military staff would. They wouldn't really give us any advantages. I'd prefer to save the political power uh, for other things, uh, particularly decisions. So we did get this national focus finished up. That got us, it says only one military factory, but I'm pretty sure it got us two. So we'll have to get those aside. I guess we'll do the privatize our infrastructure next. This would allow us to increase stability. You might want to wait to do that. Uh, just seeing what what exactly this gives us besides the three infrastructure, which allow us to, to build there easier or quicker. Uh, we get the privatized infrastructure, which grants increased political power gain, uh, a reduction of the, the number of factories going to consumer goods, but it will take longer to build infrastructure for, for one year. Yeah, let's go and do this. That's a quick one too, 35 days. Uh, so we have a military factory. Let's go and get it assigned. Uh, man, we got so many problems here. Yeah, everything is is short, frankly. All right, well, let's go ahead and go up to five on the infantry equipment because we have had no luck on improving that situation there. Uh, also, we're going to have to trade for some aluminum. We're going to have to give one of our civilian factories away. Is what it is, man. Uh, I guess we will trade with we'll trade with Austria Hungary. All right, so we'll deal with that resource problem. Uh, we do have some decisions to take. Let's just take a peek at them. Uh, we'll probably want to increase the influence of fundamentalism. Yeah, I think that would be for the best. And let me just see if there's anything else that we'd prefer to do. The industrial projects, of course, would be helpful. Uh, it looks like we have a new one here. Oh, okay, this is the one that lets you get... Okay, that's the one. I knew that there's something that would allow you to get uh, this thing here for free. The refining concern. Yeah, you can get it uh, not for free. Obviously, you have to spend the 75 political power to get it. And I think it was 75 political power to get it anyway. So I don't think, I suppose you're, you're, you're not saving any money. I was thinking it was free, but it's not free. It's 75 political power. Uh, really, all you're doing is getting the 5% the stability in addition. Uh, so yeah, but this might be something we want to do just for some stability. But not until we've dealt with this here, because we're just going to continue to lose stability. So I don't really see the point. Uh, now, as far as these ones here, these are just civilian factories. And if we had like an abundance of political power and nothing else to get, then I would say let's get those. 
Uh, but given that we have so many other things to work on, I think that's what we'll we'll do. Uh, let's placate the traditionalists and just try and make the civil war as, as easy as possible. Nobody wants to to waste a lot of resources fighting themselves. And do we want to say we don't want to be notified of these right now? Yeah, let's let's say we don't need to be notified of these at the moment. Let's see if there's anything else here. Nope, just countering the rebels, which is probably still a low percentage. Yeah, 23%. Yeah, pretty low throughout here. I don't know what controls the percentage. I'm guessing it's resistance. And I think resistance is actually getting higher right now. Yeah, uh, because the current occupation policy we have doesn't really do anything about resistance. It just increases compliance more. But of course, compliance will reduce resistance eventually. Uh, we've got the oil processing, so that means we are done here. Uh, so still not 1939 just yet. Let's see what we want to get. We could go back through the air doctrines, could get those naval bombers because we know we want to get those eventually. Uh, I'm not too worried about ship techs, honestly. Yeah, I, I think that's what we're going to do. Let's get the, the naval bombers. 125 days to get that researched. Just kind of keep our eyes on uh, the decisions. Could get them to invest into us. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do that just yet. Let's get this a little bit higher, and if we're really stacked on it, then we'll we'll spend it. But otherwise, I would prefer to work on these here, and then have the 200 political power to uh to core them. But if this stays a very low percentage, then we might not be able to do it yet. Yeah, that's the only thing I can assume is that it's it's affected the the uh, percentages affected by the the overall uh, resi resistance in the the province. So we did get that infrastructure built. Excellent. Uh, the next one would be peace in the world. Hmm. Now, if we increase the stability, I don't know that we want to do that. Now, it does reduce the resistance target in occupied territories. If we were able to get resistance higher, get up to 10%. But man, we're just going to lose it again uh, when we do those decisions. So you know what? I think we're going to wait to do this. Because yeah, between this, which would grant us a total of 20% stability... So between this and that one decision we have for 75 political power, we could get political power up to 25% total from zero to 25. And so I don't know if I want to uh, to do that right now. I'd prefer to wait and, and take advantage of the 0% stability, but yeah, if we can't do these decisions because resistance is too high, then, then it might not be an option. But it's not like we don't have any other focuses to get. So we can wait a little bit, put it off just a little bit before we do that, see if the situation changes in those provinces at all. Because uh, again, we do have other things to get. Uh, we could get uh, a bonus for support artillery. We could get the land forts, that'd be nice. And we can start working on the air focuses too. Uh, what does this one give us? So in addition to the two research bonuses, we're gonna get the emergency deployment of defensive bases, which is gonna give us a temporary bonus for it's 720 days. Uh, a very large construction bonus for building forts and, and air bases, anti-air, radar stations. So yeah, that would be really good to do before we went to war with somebody. That's interesting. Uh, this is how you get rid of the disorganized armed forces modifier, which I don't know what all we're being affected, uh, what all that's affecting just yet uh, at this point, because we did reduce some of the, the negatives of it already. Uh, let's go and get this one here. I want to say, yeah, this is the one here that'll unlock those two decisions. Yeah, we'll get this one to give us some air experience, a new advisor that we're not going to use. And it's only 35 days. So yeah, that'll let us get that other decision, which will unlock the, the military decisions we haven't taken yet. I did want to look at this modifier, though, and see what all still we're getting hit with. Yeah, because we did remove some of the, the worst ones, but it's still hitting us a little bit. Division speed is is pretty bad a air accident chances increase so if we put our planes out there which we are building planes so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna put them up to 50 and this one up to, to 25 because we've been building them a little bit longer although let's get it up to 25 maybe if I can do it <laughs> there we go alright so yeah we'll, we'll let some planes go into the stockpile or go from the stockpile into these Air wings, it looks like we had enough to get the full 25 planes. I don't know how many we actually have in the stockpile. Yeah, we could go up to 50 if we wanted to. We don't have them training or anything. I don't really want to have them training, especially when we have that modifier that is increasing the chances of uh, the air accidents. 
See if there's there is a few things we might want to go for here. So we can increase the fundamentalist support here, but I thought we already had. Oh, maybe not. Okay, yeah, we don't have fundamentalist support there. We do have it here though. They've been placated. I right, so yeah, we could do it here. This is one of the few provinces we don't have under our control. So yeah, we might want to do that one. We could also root out the Kamalas in this state. That might be better. Yeah, let's do that. Because uh, I assume with the Civil War, what would happen is that you would uh, you'd probably get to keep all the provinces, whether they're placated or not, as long as they didn't have, you know, what are these modifiers? The Kamalas schemers. Which, this one was never removed here yet. Yeah, I thought we had done it there. I thought we had rooted them out. But apparently not. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I thought we had rooted them out there. I expected the modifier to be removed. But it wasn't. Did we fail at it? Did they do something to counter it? Not sure what happened. Did it finish? Maybe it just didn't finish? Yeah, I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, let's go and get something selected here. I don't know what we just got. I think this one here. Uh, so let's go and get support weapons too. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how, how that mechanic's working then. Because yeah, I would have thought that would have removed it. Maybe it made it so it's not as bad? No. Nope, still the same modifier. Okay, and yeah, I'm not entirely sure what happened when we did that, that decision there. It looks like nothing happened. Ooh, okay, so Jing China has rebelled. And with their territory here in Manchuria against the Japanese. And so Japan is already in a civil war here. The communists right now not having as much territory. I don't know if they... It looks like they might have advanced a little bit. Well, they lost territory over here, gained some over here. Uh, but now the, the fascists are going to lose their territory on the mainland and, and, and here in Korea. So that might change the situation a bit in favor of the communists. Uh, so let's go and expand the air bases and get those decisions. And again, just kind of wait on doing these for right now. War support is actually pretty high. It's funny how this flip-flopped. We went from having like really, really high stability and, and no war support to having no stability and, and a decent war support. And Bangladesh is now just broken off from Pakistan. And there we go. The Bonaparte's are in control of France. Napoleon VI claims... The throne of France. We did a uh, Bonaparte campaign. That was one of our first campaigns with law resistance. Uh, we did two, I think. Uh, we did the French one with the Bonapartes, and then we did uh, the fifth, the Fifth Empire one as Portugal. We did those at the same time on on launch day. So we finished up computing machines. Another little research bonus there, and still not close enough to 1939 to really work on those texts just yet. So I suppose we can get more support companies because eventually we'll need them. See what other options there would be. Could of course get some marines or some hair troopers. Problem is we'd have trouble building those due to our lack of equipment. And, and that's the other issue we get in support companies. You're, you're really just getting them for the future uh, because there's not really any uh, uh, benefit to having them when you can't even uh, provide equipment for them. I suppose we know we'd want logistic companies eventually as well as maintenance companies. I guess you'd want military police in the future, too. So yeah, we could just start working on these. There are 134 days to knock them out. The other option would be to, to just continue with the air doctrines. But these ones take even longer. So you know what? Let's just go with support companies for now. We know we, we want them. Even if we can't use them now. Until 1939, there's really nothing else to get. And you know, we can add them into the divisions, even if they don't have the equipment. And in fact, I think we could go ahead and, and add something into the Janissaries right now. Uh, let's go ahead and get them. Hmm. I think we're going to put anti-air as a support. I don't think we're building anti-air, though, so we'll have to wait. Because, yeah, if we put them here in a 20... Oops, my bad. Uh, if we put them into a 20 width combat division, we'd have to get rid of the infantry. And then you could put one anti-air and then one, maybe one anti-tank. And I suppose that would be good against the, the Soviets. But yeah, we don't have either the, the equipment right now for that. So that's going to be a big problem. We're not going to have uh, a lot of diversity in our equipment just because of the, the lack of factories. Though that is getting better. We are getting more and more military factories. But for right now, it doesn't make sense to do that. I think instead, let's go with the CAV uh, recon detachment. Now, y'all know I like the recon for the speed bonuses. 
I find speed to be incredibly powerful in Hoi 4. Uh, we got the repaired defenses. Excellent. Let's go ahead and go after the Grand Assault now. Get that breakthrough in soft attack. And then we'll have to make a choice on which direction we want to go on that tree. That's such a bummer we can't can't get these knocked out here. That's what I wanted to wait on, on doing the Civil War for, is to get these. But yeah, if we're not able to do them, and resistance is so high, although it is getting lower here anyways, I think it's because we've got the compliance up. I guess compliance is increasing, so there's that. It's increasing on its own, so we have that, but the problem at that point will be resistance. That resistance would be too high, because it can't be uh, above 30%. We do have a military factory. Let's go and get this assigned to probably support equipment. Yeah, let's do support equipment. I'm building that pretty slow, and we have a lot of shortages there. Of course, the small amount of resources we're lacking is also affecting things. So now we just have to let this play. Again, uh, I would really like to, to deal with the lack of fundamentalists in many of these areas. All right, so we have gotten rid of the Kamalist all throughout here. Excellent. So what do they still have? This one here, which for, for whatever reason was not removed. And then this area. Yep. That's it. Istanbul. Yeah. Okay. So the Civil War might be really, really easy at this point. I'll see if I can make it even easier. Because, again, we don't really want to fight ourselves if we can avoid it. Uh, we did get those two decisions unlocked. Excellent. Uh, the next one would be a research bonus for fighters. We'd like to get that before 1940. Let's just see what other options we have here. I suppose we can go with the... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go with the naval one, but I guess we could go down here. Maybe get those forts and stuff. Although, you know, we wouldn't want to get those forts until after the Civil War. Yeah, we'd want to wait. My phone's going off. Got all kinds of stuff happening over there. Could get this one, uh, give you one naval dockyard. Obviously, that's not going to be incredibly helpful. Would allow us to get more convoys. We don't really have very many convoys. But yeah, I don't think we should prioritize that over either one of these two here. But again, don't want that one. Uh, the research bonuses for support artillery would be nice. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get the uh, the field artillery one and the the fighter one. And then that's it. And then after that, maybe we'll do the Civil War. We should have uh, ha had enough political power at that point to, to try and uh, try and deal with this province here. I'd love to make it so that this is the only area we have to fight the Civil War in. That'd be really nice. Just go and conquer them real quick. But yeah, I'm going to see if we can't deal with this, though. We did it once before. And again, I don't know why that didn't stick. It didn't do anything. It seems like it had no uh, no result. Uh, we do have quite a few decisions available here, including, now that we have the Hunter of Little Power, to influence fundamentalists. Okay, that'll be over here. I don't think you can do anything about the, the Kamalis over here. I don't think it's possible. Now, which one is this? Okay, so this makes them devout. Rather than just placated. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, we also have this one here. This would... Modify the disorganized army forces uh, by increasing the speed, so basically removing the speed penalty. And that's the main one that I don't want. So yeah, we'll probably want to take that, but you know what? Let's go ahead and use this one first. Get fundamentalists over here. Again, I'm not entirely sure how all this affects the Civil War. Let me see if there's anything else we want to do here. This adds the devout. Uh, traditionalists as well into a province. Let's see if any of these other ones have any effects that I didn't notice. Of course, you can always get more manpower, and that'd be helpful, but the main thing we're lacking is equipment. So manpower wouldn't be as helpful, and if we did want to do a manpower one, that would be way better, way, way faster. Yeah, but this would be one way to get devout traditionalists. So yeah, that would move this province from placated to the other modifier. It looks like Ankara is in fact under their control as well. Under the schemer's control. Okay, that's not good. I didn't realize that. We we're over here building there. Yeah, we don't want to lose Ankara. I don't think we could deal with Ankara though. I'm not entirely sure, but you would think they wouldn't take your capital, but maybe they might. 
I was trying to see the, the modifier for the devout traditionalist. So that's a plus 15% for recruitable population and a local construction speed of plus 10% compared to the uh, placated one, which is just the 5% local construction speed. Okay, so it gives you more uh, uh, more manpower and you can you can build there faster. I don't know if it's uh, worth going for for that one, unless it has some kind of effect on the... Uh, yeah, we're gonna go for this one. Unless it has some type of effect on the Civil War, on whether they're placated or, or devout. You would think it would. I can't really say what the effect would be. Let me see if we could do any of these with higher chances. We might just have to go for the 20% chance, but I would hate to, to lose the progress we've had here with reducing the resistance and increasing the compliance. Cause yeah, it is going up on its own. So yeah, we could just wait and be patient. And if we're gonna do that, then it would make sense to get the stability up now. All right, so we got the research done for the the naval bombers. So we're done with the the smaller planes for now. I don't know if we'll get any of these big ones. Probably not with our current production issues. Maybe in the future, but yeah, I just don't know that we'll be able to, to produce them. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of problems when it comes to production, probably through most of the campaign. So yeah, I don't think we'll get I don't think we'll get those just yet. Uh, as far as building the naval bombers, we'll put them on here. But I'm not gonna remove any factories to get those. I think we really ought to concentrate on what we're currently building. Trying to get that infantry equipment uh, situation sorted. We might have to stop training for the troops because the equipment is continuing to be a problem. Uh, so you know what, let's go ahead and stop training until we get this equipment situation dealt with. Uh, so we still need to get something selected here. I guess we're going to get maintenance companies. I was going to go for air doctrines, but you know, with the 200 and something 11 days it takes, 211 days or whatever, that put us into 1939, well into 1939. And I'd like to start getting 1939 text as soon as we can. And let me see if they've created the central powers yet. Nope, not yet. All right, so we've gotten our focus completed. Excellent. Uh, so uh, we got member waiting to get those. Uh, let's go ahead and get the research bonus for the fighters. And then we'll move. It's only a 35 day one as well. Oh, all these are 35 day ones. All right, nice. You can move through this pretty quick. A lot of research bonuses for air doctrines as well. We get two here. This one's just one. Got to pick between one of the two. We'd probably get get that one there. Get the two research bonuses for the air doctrine. I think that's the better one. Uh, and then you'll get the naval bomber research, which I don't know if we'll go for tactile. So yeah, we'd probably go through here, and then down to this one here. And yeah, you're gonna get three air doctrine research bonuses. Also get a lot of air bases too. But yeah, I think we're just gonna go for this one for right now, and then we'll go ahead and move on to. Uh, uh, moving towards the Civil War, I suppose. Yeah. But yeah, I don't want to get the forts here just yet, since we're going to have to fight here. Uh, before the Civil War, we're going to move all our troops over to territory we know is going to be loyal to us. I don't know exactly how the, the Civil War will, will split the troops, because uh, there's multiple ways that Civil Wars can do it. Uh, some Civil Wars have it where any troops that are in that territory go to the other side, and then the other side will also then get uh, some troops spawned for them. And then there's some civil wars, which I don't, I think they're moving away from this, but there's some civil wars that like completely like remove all the troops and have like a new setup uh, for where your troops are going to be at. I think the German one does that. Might be wrong on that one. But yeah, there's still some civil wars that use that mechanic uh, where it has like a specific like military setup for the civil war. I, I really don't like that one. Huh, interesting. We can actually remove them from here if we get 100 political power. So maybe we'll save up for that. Uh, we got the Super Art Weapons 2, excellent. Still very much in 1938. All right, well, rather than getting another support company here, I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and, and, and get that Air Doctrine. We'll get the next one. Even if it is gonna take a while to get it. We can do the Instruct the Proper Use of Modern inf Infrastructure. Uh, and this one is the speed one, so yeah, we wanna do that. So let's get that knocked out. Let's take a look at the compliance here. We're at 36% now, 40 over here. Lowering that resistance as well. Okay, so yeah, it's going well, even though we haven't been using the decisions. And those would probably have higher chances. It's kind of weird how we've seen 50%, and then we've seen 34, 23, and 20. The percentage is odd. We haven't seen like, you'd think it'd be more variable. We haven't seen a 28% or 39% or 42%, you know? Not entirely sure how it works again. I, I, I'm assuming it's an impacted by the resistance. 
and if you've recently done those decisions. We did get another military factory. Uh, we want to take a look, see what we're constructing right now. Uh, I think we've, I think we're getting more fuel now as well uh, from our refinery. So this military factory, we should probably put into either support equipment or artillery. Producing around the same number per day. Could also get something down here. We already have the naval bomber. Uh, we have a factory going towards that now, so we're going to get some naval bombers. That'd help against you know war with the Soviets or the Allies. Uh, let's go ahead and build the artillery. Although we'll probably need more support equipment in the future than we will artillery. That's fine. Oh yes, that's right. Uh, and it looks like the British are at war. They had to declare war on Ireland, so they're going to conquer the rest of Ireland. Okay, so we'll have to follow them. You're gonna, you know that the the British are going to be also attacking the Dominions in the future, and that alliance. So the British will likely be busy for quite some time. We got our focus done, which is that fighter research bonus, and thus we're gonna go ahead and do the peace in the world next. And rather than going the route of of taking these decisions here and just. Uh, perhaps losing the progress that we did here. I mean, I guess we could do it up to the point that we get this 35 days from now. Once we get the extra stability, I don't want to risk it, especially not on a 20% chance. But yeah, we could start working on this province here. You know, it doesn't have, uh, or the resistance isn't quite as high. Yeah, I guess we could try doing here. It's, it's a very low chance, but maybe. Uh, at the very least, we get the political power. Ah, we are defeated. Uh, again, though, as long as we do it, As long as we do it when we're at 0% stability, then the only thing we're losing, you know, is that we're losing any progress when it comes to compliance and resistance. But we are getting that political power, so that's helpful. I'll try over here. It's a 30% chance over there. I guess it's 30% in both of these. Uh, but I think this one's now looking a lot worse. Yeah, it's much, much worse. You know, we're gonna continue doing it here, though. I wanna try and prove it. I feel like we're gonna get it. We did. All right, I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling we are going to get it that time. Now we're at 20% there, 20% here as well. Could risk it again. I don't think we will, though. I think that's enough. We got some political power from it, guys. That's what I really wanted. Uh, so now that we can we can root out the Kamalists over here. Let me see if there's any other options, though. I'm not seeing anything. Of course, we could do this decision that we have here for the 5% the stability. Uh, we could also try and get more investment, which would hopefully be more military factories. Definitely something we need. Uh, but yeah, let's focus on the Civil War, guys. So let's root them out. Let's see if that's successful. Yeah, it looks like it was. So does that mean that this is no longer going to go to them? That's what I assume. So I think the only territory they have now is right here and then the capital, and Kara, and... Ireland has been defeated by the British, and then they still have this one too, which again, I'm not entirely sure why they still have that one. Yeah, because the other ones it worked. We did it and then it uh, removed them. Hmm, yeah, I'm not entirely sure why it didn't work there. Uh, we can, s oh yes, that's the, the one decision. But that was something different. Just the one to get us some, some stability. Uh, we're almost done with this. Uh, let's see if we want to take this one more time before we don't want to risk the, uh, the stability loss. See where they're sitting at. 49 and 39. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it one more time. I remember that gets us that political power as long as we do it before. All right. Uh, so we're not going to want to do it again because I think we're going to have this before then. Although it's pretty quick. We'll do it one more time. Again, as long as it doesn't take that stability. And we have we have the time. So one more time. I feel like it's, this is the one. We're going to be successful. <laughs> I was wrong that time. Uh, so now we got resistance all the way up to 78%. Good God, that's high. That's really high. Uh, now we have stability. Uh, we should have got 20%. We're sitting at 18 instead. Uh, so we don't want to do those decisions any longer. Uh, we do need to get uh, another national focus selected. We could go ahead and start the Civil War up. Hmm. It's a 70-day focus. I'm wondering if we can't do any more of these, these decisions to root them out before then, though. I don't really know what makes them pop up, because sometimes they're here and sometimes they're not. It's not entirely sure what uh, what affects that. Again, here we can just empower them. And I'm not seeing one for getting rid of them anywhere, so maybe maybe we're done with that. 
In which case, there's no reason not to do the Civil War. So I think that's what we're going to do. Alright, so let's go ahead and, and get the focus and uh, get prepared for the Civil War, which would be next episode. Uh, I don't think we'll, we'll have it this one. So as far as where we, we want to build in, we want to make sure we're building somewhere that we're going to get to keep. And so I want one that has like the traditionalists either devout or, or uh, placated, and, and plus we build there faster as well. So that's also something to consider. Yeah, I suppose we can build over here on this side of things. Yeah, I guess that's where we would want to build. Particularly right here. Yeah, I think that's where we're going to want to build. So let's go ahead and get military factory. We can only do one right there. Okay. Uh, let me see if there's any other areas that have the the devout. Where we can get that 10% bonus. I'm sure there's an easier way to look at this. Yeah, these are all just placated here. I want to say there's one more with the devout modifier. But maybe not. Okay, yeah, maybe that's it. Okay, so in that case, it doesn't really matter. You just do it anyway around here. Yeah, we're going to get one more military factory. I guess we'll do it right here. It's a 40% modifier. I don't think we had a 40% modifier there before. Uh, I think that's from the, the infrastructure uh, focus that we got. They built the infrastructure up a little bit for us. And then the other thing I want to do is go ahead and increase uh, stability a little bit more. That'd be helpful because stability is in the dumps. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that just for the 5% stability. And that'll uh, reduce the resistance target in occupied territories, helping us you know, get the resistance down here. Uh, obviously, this state I kind of messed up quite a bit by doing that decision over and over again. But over here, we're not looking too bad. 58% on the resistance, 44% for the uh, compliance. And the resistance should yeah, reduce even faster now. We got the logistics company, but we are in 1939, so we can go and start getting 1939 techs, which we're going to start with the industrial techs. Get that concentrated industry three. And could ask for investment, but you know what, guys? I think we're going to wait on doing the investment stuff. Yeah, I think we're going to wait on doing all these. Let's just go ahead and say we don't need to be notified of this right now. So you can keep doing it. Well, that's interesting. And yeah, you can keep doing it with countries. All right, so it looks like they just puppeted them. And they have conquered all Korea here. It seems like the Civil War ended. I must have missed that. The, the communist one. So we have a communist Japan now. That's interesting. Hmm. I wonder what they'll end up doing. Like, will they join the Comintern? Because uh, the Comintern can use some, some help. Can you imagine, you know, if the Soviet Union can get both Spain, which probably is going to happen because Spain seems to be very democratic now. Yeah, so I don't think they're going to get Spain. Well, yeah, can you imagine if it was J Japan and, and China, or excuse me, Japan and, and the Soviets in alliance? That'd be an interesting situation. Let's see what happens there. Of course, uh, Poland went with their routes that they always go to, when you put them on the default setting to create that faction. Uh, so yeah, they have the faction here with all the uh, with all the Baltic states, which they'll all be getting new focus trees in the next expansion. I really hope that they do one for Finland. They haven't announced one yet, and I expected Finland to be in this focus, you know, to be uh, one of the, the countries that gets a focus tree in the, the Soviet DLC. We know the Soviets are getting one, the Polish are getting one, and the three uh, Baltic states are getting one, and you would, you would think that that would be it because five is, is typically the most they do, but man, it just seems natural that Finland would be the next choice. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised that they, they weren't. Uh, so far. Uh, so yeah, we can go ahead and do it here. And maybe we won't have to take that area either. Again, I'm not sure how it works with the, the states that are undecided. That aren't on either side. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Oh, we have military factories. Well, we need to get assigned. Uh, let's put this into... We'll do support equipment, guys. Just trying to get these shortages dealt with, which we're doing a good job. The infantry equipment's in a much better situation. Now that we stopped training... I think they're just losing too much equipment to uh, attrition. We do have to trade for resources here, though. We're going to need to get some steel. And rather than trade for the rubber, let's go ahead and build ourselves uh, another synthetic refinery. And we're going to build it right here. And you know what? I'm going to put it above the military factory so it gets done uh, here soon. Uh, so yeah, we're just waiting for this focus to be finished up, and then we're going to have the Civil War. All right, so I, I don't want to have the Civil War start until next episode. 
So we'll probably end it as we're like a couple days away. Uh, we did get the maintenance companies. Uh, so let's go ahead and get another 1939 industrial tech. We'll go after the, you know, rubber is an issue. So you know what? Let's go after the improved rubber processing. If we're going to build these refineries, let's make them as useful as possible. I think that'd be wise. Uh, we might as well get all of our troops out of here. I, I don't know. I really don't know where the rebellion is going to happen now. So you know what, guys? Let's go ahead and just take the troops and bring them over to this area. Let's bring all of them over to here, because I don't think this area will rebel against us. Oops. Let's move them all over to there. I think we should be good over there. Over here, this is another area that we have to worry about. So I don't want them in, in territory that's going to rebel. And you know what? I wonder if we didn't do, or if he did this too too late, and if all this, these troops are going to leave us now. So let's get them all out of there. Yeah, I might have done it too late. I don't know if they have enough days to get over there now. Oh, yep, they, they got over there really quick. All right, excellent. I'm kind of doing this last minute here, getting them out of that, that territory. Now, this one probably isn't going to rebel because they don't have those modifiers anymore, so we might ha have that issue now. All right, get it about, I don't know, maybe two days away. There we go. All right, so we're going to end today's episode here, and yeah, we'll be having the, the Rebellion next episode, uh, the, the Turkish Civil War, we'll get a big chunk of, of war support as well, and hopefully we've done enough to make this a really easy Rebellion, uh, like, you know, Ankara would, I, I suppose Ankara is going to rebel, maybe we want to move these planes, I don't know if they have enough time to get out of there now, uh, so that we'll have the Air Force, I should have moved those though already, how long is it going to take for them to, to go? Let's just take a look. Yeah, they'll get out of there in time. So, you know, planes are pretty fast. So, yeah, we'll get the planes out of there, too. And, yeah, if you just go based on where Kamalas, Kamalas are present, it would be in Ankara and over here. But what I don't know is, like, what is all this blue here? Like, is that where the rebellions are going to be? It might be. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how it works. It just feels... Maybe we should move these guys over here then in that case. Just feels kind of odd that they would get control over all these just... I mean, some of this here is, is in fact, uh, where traditionalists have been placated, but maybe that's not how it works. And maybe I'm not understanding exactly how the mechanic works. So in that case, you know what, let's move these guys over to here. Let's see if they'd get over there in time. They should be. All right, so yeah, we'll end today's episode here. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next episode where we'll have the Turkish Civil War. Uh, also, I'm noticing that Yugoslavia continues breaking apart into uh, become balkanized uh, into all these different states here. Interesting. I'll make them easier to conquer if we decide to go that route. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.